I am Rajni, an operations engineer here at AWS office in Bangalore. Today I am going to show you how customers can onboard self-service provisioning services in their AWS managed services account. Let's get started. Self-service provisioning services or SSPS are offered as is. Customers are responsible for managing these services. AWS Managed Services provides AWS identity and access management roles that allow you to use the service in your AMS account safely. First, view the SSPS onboarding documentation to see any prerequisite for any SSPS. You can access the documentation from the AMS console. Go to Documentation and click on User Guide. And then go to Self-Service Provisioning Services. For example, for the data sync service, there is a prerequisite. Amazon Simple Storage Service ARNs are required for all S3 buckets associated with the data sync tasks. All bucket names must have the prefix data sync. Note that each service is handled differently and you can get related prerequisites by reading the FAQ for that service. Additionally, this page shows if there are any dependencies for the service in an AWS Managed Services account under the AWS Managed Services FAQ. For example, after you onboard the data sync service, you can deploy data sync agent by raising management other other RFC. Now that we know the prerequisites and have collected the relevant data, ARNs and so on, let's see how to raise the RFC to onboard SSPS service. Navigate to Manage Services. Select RFCs from left side pane. Let's create a new RFC. You can search the change type by name, choose from recently and frequently used change types or can choose by category. Choose category as management, subcategory as AWS service, item as self-provision service and operation as add. Here you can see the description about the change type and change type ID. Choose next. Enter a related subject for the RFC. Optionally, you can provide email notification, description and other additional details here. You can also schedule your RFC. Choose next. Choose the service from the drop-down list. You can also provide the AWS IAM role ARN of an existing AWS IAM role to add the permissions to self-manage the AWS service. If left blank, a new role is created with the necessary permissions. Click on Create. After you raise the RFC, AWS Managed Services team will provision the AWS IAM role or add permission to the existing role according to your request that will allow you to use the service in your AWS Managed Services account. You can view the AWS Managed Services documentation again and find out the AWS IAM role and related service role names for a specific service that will be provisioned in the account. After the RFC is successfully completed, you can work on onboarding the console role in your federated solution. If you have any permission issues while using the service, you can raise a service request to troubleshoot the issue. We will help you in reviewing and validating the AWS IAM permissions. So now you know how to onboard a self-service provisioning service in your account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.